Hi besties, welcome or welcome back. Welcome to Saturday's video and welcome to my monthly reading wrap up. So I'm basically going to like talk about the books that I read in September, give my honest opinions, ratings, a little bit of a review. So this video is going to be shorter than the other ones because I didn't read much this month. The month of September was so hectic. I am I am honestly tired. Like I'm exhausted. So I only have five books to share with you guys today. So let's start with the first book that I read this month which was Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I buddy read this with Crystal and Sarah and we loved the book. Like we loved it so much. And also I did a reading vlog for this book. So if you want to see like my reactions and um, if I like it and everything and like more details of it, well, make sure to watch that video. It's going to be up here. But basically I gave this book a five out of five stars because it's honestly so good. So this book is about Daisy Jones and the Part of the Six is a rock band and this is all like centered in the like 70s. So the story is actually from like a journalist perspective and she's interviewing like each character. So the entire book are like sections and fragments of interviews. So the story starts with Daisy Jones. So she's like an it girl in the 70s. She lives in LA with her parents but she's very young and her parents like don't pay attention to her. So basically, since a very young age, she could do whatever she wanted. Um, this girl like parties, drinks, like goes out with like random people. So that is like the first section of the book. And then it hops to the story of each member of the six, which is the band. So you kind of get the perspective of like Daisy Jones' life and then the members of the six life. But at one point in the book, they come together because Daisy Jones meets um, the six. So that is where the like actual like big part of the story starts. So obviously they become like a band and it's a whole story. Also look up trigger warnings for every book, please. This book talks a lot about drugs, like hard drugs, but it's very good. Like it's very well written. I never got bored because since it is like um, kind of like an interview style type of thing, I never got bored. So um, I really do recommend this book. Um, it's definitely one of my favorites now and I love how this author like writes in general. Okay, after Daisy Jones and the Six, I started um, Twisted Love by Anna Huang and I buddy read this with Larissa. If you don't know who Larissa is, please go follow her um, on TikTok. She's so funny. Her at is Larry Reads. So this is the first book of a series. The second book is Twisted Games and then I think the author is coming out with two more books, I think. So the other one is coming out January and it's going to be Twisted Hate. So every book is for a different couple, just so you know. But you do need to read them in order because if you start with like the second one, um, there are parts that you're not going to understand because some parts happen in this book. So Twisted Love starts with Ava. Ava is this girl in college. She's super like positive, upbeat, kind of like the sunshiny type of trope and um, she lives in an apartment and she has her brother as her neighbor. So this brother has a best friend and that best friend is Alex. But Alex is like the grumpiest guy. Um, he doesn't talk to anyone. He like thinks he's better than everyone. He has like a very high IQ, all that type of stuff. And that's basically the first trope that you get grumpy sunshine which is one of my favorites and also like the brother's best friend so Ava's brother is like the guy that is super protective over her and he's like super worried all the time and he like just wants to protect her sister so the thing is he gets accepted to go to another country to like go to a program that means that she's gonna be alone so he decides to make a deal with his best friend which is Alex and the deal is that Alex needs to like look over Ava and like take care of her. But the twist is that when Ava's brother is gone, Alex is gonna move into um, the brother's apartment. So basically they become neighbors. So that's where the whole story starts. I felt like this book didn't have like as much spice as the second book. This book is more about like Alex's past and also Ava's past and like situations and problems and like a lot of plot twists, but it was really good. Like it was very, very good. I think I read this in like three days but the day that I finished this book, I started the second book immediately. 
like I was so in love with this book like I needed to read the other one so yeah I gave this book a 5 out of 5 stars and this is my new favorite series I honestly think I never had like a favorite series until I read the Twisted series I do highly highly recommend you reading this book it's so good so I'm gonna talk about the second book because I did read Twisted Games so in order for you to like understand this book you need to read Twisted Love so um, this book is about one of Ava's best friends one of her best friends is Bridget so this book is about Bridget Bridget is this girl um, who is like royalty she's like a literal princess but she goes to college where Ava goes to college and that's how they met but the thing about this book like the whole thing about this book is that Bridget needs bodyguards and she has been with the same bodyguard and she loves him like like friendly loves him he has been with her for many years and this bodyguard decides to like step down from the job and that meant that she needed a new bodyguard so that's what happens so that's where like the guy of the story comes in so this new bodyguard is Riz so they are enemies at the beginning obviously like this is the enemies to lovers forced proximity forbidden love all those tropes right here but basically Riz becomes um, Bridget's bodyguard and with time they actually become like friends but kind of like the forbidden love kind of part is because she's a princess like she has to be queen someday and she cannot marry a bodyguard so that's the whole thing um, but this book has so much more spice um, than the first one and this is my favorite so far from the series because I feel like um, this has more romance and it talks more about the couple itself. It's a slow burn, so be patient, but it's so worth it. This is my new favorite series. I am so freaking happy that I read these books. Okay, besties, the last book that I'm going to mention is... Well, I have it on my Kindle, but I'm going to put like the cover here because you cannot see it. This book is A Risk on Forever by N.S. Perkins. And this is a new author. And she reached out to me like a month or so ago and she sent me her book and I finished the book this month um, because you guys know I'm just so bad at reading <laughs> I'm just so bad at finishing books and like reading them in time so so bad first of all I just wanted to say stop what you're doing and go pre-order this book because it comes out on October 5th which is next week I cannot wait you guys I'm going to buy the paperback of this book like I'm going to buy it because first of all look at this cover so pretty <sighs> let me get to the story this book is about um adelaide and matthias so adelaide is this girl who has to work full time because um her mother died of an illness and she has to like provide for her and her little brother so they were left with her father but her father literally doesn't do anything he sits on the couch watches tv and does nothing so she has to provide for herself and most of all her little brother and she doesn't have the option to like go to school or anything like that so she basically works so one day at her job like her current job she gets laid off it was like a coffee shop the coffee shop was um, closing and that means that she needs to look for a new job so immediately after that event she starts looking for new jobs and she finds this job online and they're taking like interviews and this is a job for a woman that needs a caregiver and the thing is that the woman has the same illness as her mother so she basically knows how to take care of this woman because she took care of her mother with the same illness so she was like perfect um i'm going to go to the interview and see if i get the job but when she got to the house for the interview a guy opened the door and this guy is matthias and the moment that matthias like opened the door he already had made up his mind that she wasn't like capable of taking care of his mother so matthias mother is named helen so she enters the house and she meets helen and she says for the interview she didn't even say three words matthias got a phone call and he like dismisses her and tells her that that's enough that he doesn't need to hear anything else and the interview got cut short so she left um so those were the first impression of each other which was not good so after that helen tells um her son which is matthias that he was so rude so disrespectful and that she wants adelaide to be her caregiver so she goes to the job the next day and it wasn't easy like it was not easy at all to um work with matthias and also this book has the grumpy sunshine trope because 
as you can tell, this guy is like super super grumpy and she is like really positive and upbeat and like as positive as she can be um, because like she has a lot on her plate, like she has a lot of responsibility so it's not easy but she gets to meet Helen and they build a friendship but I gave this book a 4.5 out of 5 stars it's honestly really good, I cannot wait to um, get the paperback oh, oh, okay, and one thing that I love, like love about this book at the end of each chapter there is a written note um from helen um it's really cute like it's really cute like i have seen so many people like cry with the letters please go pre-order it so besties those were all the books that i read um in september i am going to try to read more this month um i really do want to read more I hope you got some new recommendations. Please, if you like this video, go ahead and subscribe down below. And make sure to turn on the notification bell so you get notified when I upload more videos. And yeah, that is going to be all. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you in my next one. Bye!